lately, some people have asked us, what's the difference between our salt lamps and others? We spend a great deal of time selecting our crystals, packaging them properly, and making them the most um, enjoyable experience for all of our customers. We have some eight to 9,000 previous customers, including hundreds of retail shops that sell our product. One customer was kind enough to say, hey, I bought a salt lamp from you before, then I saw one cheaper online, and I realized I hated it. So what we did was we paid to have that exact salt lamp that he bought and hated, and it had to ship to us, and we shipped him one of ours. He's, of course, very happy, and we'll show you the differences. One is, this, this lamp came from a Walmart website. We're gonna take it out and show you a couple of things. One is, something that strikes me is it's not packaged. It comes out completely unsealed. There's no moisture protection. Salt attracts moisture. They all come over on a large ocean liner. And it's important to note that this lamp was probably soaking wet for 15, 20, maybe even 30 days. And that's evident by the smooth, shiny surface. Salt does not come out of the ground that way. That's a byproduct of having been wet on the ride over. In addition to this, the wood, if you can get a tight shot there, the wood seems a little frayed, doesn't look like it's got any type of stain on it, and there's certainly not a high quality feel to it. So having said that, it's still salt. It's a little bit on the low quality side from a visual, and the base is certainly below par. Here's their lighting mechanism. It's a plastic mechanism all in one. I've never quite seen anything like this, and it does pop with a little bit of coercion into the bottom of the lamp. So we're gonna set this aside right here. I also noticed that it leans a little bit. This is the box it came in. This is the lamp from Walmart or many other retailers that you may see online. Here's our lamp. This is a five to eight pound lamp. We weighed it, it's exactly five and a half pounds. Here's our medium salt lamp. First of all, it comes in a very thick five ply color box. Not all of our lamps come in color boxes, but this one does. And you can see that it's not flimsy, completely strong, and it's actually laminated to help protect against the elements. I'm gonna take this and put it aside. I don't know if you can see this, but all of our lamps come either shrink-wrapped or poly-sealed. Just gonna give you a chance to look at the difference. This is a five to six pound lamp. This is supposedly a five to eight pound lamp. Our lamp is obviously bigger. One of the most important things between lamps is the color, the fit, finish, and the crystal. This is certainly pale and un unremarkable. Our lamp, without even being opened, looks better to me. A couple of things we do, again, is the poly wrapping or the shrink wrapping. These are moisture absorbers, moisture absorbers. So what you get when you get a Spiritual Quest Tibetan salt salt lamp, is you get a lamp that's been protected from the day it left the factory. This is gonna look like, just like it did, in the factory near the Himalayan mountains. And it's gonna show up to your house in perfect condition because it wasn't open to the elements like this one. Now I'm gonna open this, so give me just a minute. All right, so both lamps are now open. When you see the natural lamp, you will see some flaking of the salt. That's because it's never been soaking wet. The soaking wet lamp is shiny, has no real characteristics to it. If I just turn this around for you, you'll notice that there's differences in color, different shades, and that's without it even being lit. The beauty of the spiritualquest.com salt lamp is it's a higher quality crystal. We say all the time that crystals or salt comes in different quality grades. You can get this salt lamp or you can get this salt lamp. Now we're gonna light them both up. With the Himalayan salt lamp that we give you, we give you a metal bulb and cord assembly, not plastic. But what this does is it clips right into what we call our bulb and cord assembly plate. That's a stainless steel plate which will never rust, will never decay, and never break. And what it does is it holds your bulb and cord in there perfectly. If you can see how easy that was to pop in, it, it's held in there perfectly and will never pop out. Now one of the things about Himalayan salt is number one, the look, the fit and finish. Take the close look at these without the lamps on. Look at the bases. Look at the way they're standing, the symmetry, the way it leans or doesn't lean. And now let's turn them on. Here's the Walmart lamp. Kind of, I don't know, I'd say yellowish, 
or light orange pale. Now let's see the spiritual quest salt. Wow. I think it's pretty simple to say that these lamps, although priced very much the same, this lamp was about $24 with a little bit of handling charge. This one is $29.95 with free shipping. I ask you right now, as a purveyor of salt and as a former customer, which one would you like? One that costs three or four dollars more or one that's just run of the mill?